Well, hey folks, this is Seven here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my first look at a game called Hydronier. Now, this is a sort of a mining smithing game with uh, a whole bunch of physics stuff to get in the way or make it more enjoyable, I guess, depending on how you look at it. Well, let's first of all jump into settings. They do have some. We've got, uh, well, your basic video settings. Now, we'll notice this says graphics and audio settings. And as I have complained in so many other videos, why do developers not bother with any audio settings? This one, your audio settings, are actually right here. Turn it on, turn it off. Yeah, there's absolutely no audio settings, even though it clearly states it there. Um, no, the page doesn't scroll. There's no second page. That is the options. The only other choice is key bindings, which, again... The page doesn't scroll, so what we see is what we have. But anyway, what we're going to do here, um, well, I'm going to have to play it in the mute position. Hopefully that doesn't, I don't think that gets rid of the sounds. I think it's just muting the music. If so, great. Although, still, some way to turn the volume down a bit would be nice. Let's jump into a new game. And this is almost freaky. And we're in the game. <laughs> See what I mean? It's, yeah, that free... I don't, you almost expect to look back and look up in the air and see the menu floating there, you know? But anyway, this is uh, apparently where we get to do something. Oh, we have gear. Look, a bucket. And E will pick things up. Okay, very nice, very nice. Ooh, I like this area. All right, let's uh, put it down. Again, E will drop it. All righty. What else we got here? Um, a brush. Hmm. Well, perhaps not the most exotic piece of equipment, but it's what we have. And then we have, well, a slightly larger bucket, which I'm going to call our pan. Pick this guy up and take him over here. And again, the E key will drop it. All right. Well, now all we need is a shovel. And I do believe I saw one just as we were beaming in. Oh, and a lamp. Interesting. Ooh, and we can turn it on. All right. Well, let's set it. I don't know. Can I put it on this rock? Would that be like a, a thing? Maybe, maybe. Ah, uh, it didn't stay. Well, it kind of stayed. I I'm going to call that good. Now, the most important tool of all. Da -da, the shovel. Alright, so, i got to kind of say, the animations are, well, not great. Now, it's weird. For loading stuff into the bucket with the shovel, see the blue dot? Yeah, and you'll notice the dirt went in there, although it looked like it threw the dirt off to the side. Watch. See what I mean? But you'll see the bucket is getting fuller. So, must be doing something right. And I believe that's about as full as it gets. So, let's uh, drop our shovel, pick up our bucket, and now this is where it gets kind of weird. See the green dot? Okay. Just running up the side of the bucket. That's where things actually go if you tip them or drop them. See? All the dirt went in the bucket. Which is sort of what you want. And same thing now. When I go to drop the bucket, watch where it lands. Right where the green dot was. So, let's now grab our wonder tool. Come over here. And again, now we're back to blue dot. Scrub, scrub. Scrub, scrub. Ooh, and we got something. Nice. We got, in fact, one little chunk of iron. Nice. Oh, I don't want to bounce it off of there. We'll set it over here. And one wee little nugget of gold. 
Isn't that precious? <laughs> and that's it. Yes, indeed. Although, let me tell you, if, uh, If I took four shovelfuls of dirt in some random spot and found a gold nugget that big, I would spend, well, however long it took to dig up every single grain of muck in this place. <laughs> Let me tell you, because that's an incredible return as far as gold goes. But I have a feeling it's, uh, well, maybe not as wonderful as it might seem. Oh, the blue dot is also where you aim your shovel. However, the green dot is where it will fall. <laughs> and get the green over there. Give her a flip it up. And away it goes. And green dot. Boink. There we go. Let's take our brush. Ooh, look at that. Yes, it's what we like to see. In there. What do we got? Two massive, massive, I tell you, gold nuggets. <laughs> Alright, you can go there with your buddy. And yes, bonus nugget. Okay, and gold is winning three to one. <laughs> um, wow. <clears throat> yeah, I was told it gets dark really, uh, well, told. I read on the forums that it gets dark really, 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 really quick. And almost seemingly too often. wasn't just a little flatter I think that would do us good all right let's see how we did so one big chunk of the iron not bad not bad be able to build ourselves some nice kit see the deal is you don't only mine this stuff and then sell it as ores no you don't only mine the up oh, wrong one um, smelt it and sell it you actually make things out of it like, the gold is combined with gems to make rings and necklaces. And the iron is used for making things like daggers and swords and that sort of thing. So, yeah. I guess you're sort of a, a medieval prospector slash smith. And, uh, okay, that's what we got that time. Nice. Whoops. <laughs> I'm lost. I can't find the water. There we are. Let's give her a drop. Whoosh. Da 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 da. Mm hmm. All right, our hole's getting deep. Uh, apparently, the deeper you go, the better the materials. So, I've been kind of getting them all in the same spot. Where's that green mark? Oh, yeah, the shovel's almost buried. Okay. I think I'll start dropping it here to the side. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. Oops. Alright. Oh, I was standing on the lantern. I get you. Okay. Oh, we almost missed. 
It's getting a little iffy. Okay. Where's... Uh, there it is. Look at that. There's like a fist-sized nuggie in there. All right. Oh, that's not even a nuggie. That's an actual nugget. Yes. Oh, yeah. Couple of nice chunks in there now. And one wee little one. All right. Well... <coughs> Not too shabby. All right, let's let's grab the bucket. Okay. Good, we got it all. Let's go for a walk. So far, it seems to run reasonably smooth. I mean, I'm rocking 90 FPS here. Now, I have everything on high, not ultra. This apparently is ours as well. Some sort of steampunky old truck thing. Yeah. You can buy tools and equipment in here, but you have to have money. So, we're gonna go get some money. There's two ways to get money. Well, I mean, there's two kind of places ways to get money. One, you can outright sell things. You can go to the jeweler. And the jeweler will basically buy, well, what we have here today. A bucket of gold. And gems and that sort of thing. Alright, let's make sure we're up here. 60? That's all I made? Don't you mean like $60? No, you don't, do you? <laughs> Woo, look at that coin! Did that go in? No, it didn't. Here, down there so I can actually see the coin go in the bucket. There we go. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm in money. Alright, let's go see what we could spend our money on. Hello! Um, I'm just gonna set this here. Excellent. What do we got? We got pipes. All right, let's have a look here. A mining helmet. Ooh, 361. <sighs> I have a map. There's one sitting down there. Ooh, a bed. Simple bed for sleeping until morning. Well, that'll come in handy. But if we're making like 60 cents an hour, we're going to have to work a few more hours, I think. What do we got here? Grinding wheel? For uncut gems. How much is this sort of thing? 12, huh? Because that would be good to have another of those. Or perhaps even another bucket. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'm going to buy another pan. No. I'm actually going to buy a... Oh, buckets are only one? Nice. Alright. Don't need a brush. Another lantern would be nice, wouldn't it? Then we might be able to see a little better. Okay. Don't think I'm quite... Yeah, we are going to want an anvil, but we can't afford one. We're also going to want definitely a crucible and a small furnace. That way we can smelt the stuff into bars and start working on it. 
But it looks like at the moment what I need more than anything is to uh, get busy. Oh, I have to... <laughs> they actually want the money. They don't believe that I'll just pay it. Okay. Alright. Now that stuff should be ours. We have 54 cents left. So, let's take our bucket. And we're going to set this bucket here. And this is going to become our using bucket. And then I'll use that one for moving our gems around and uh, packing our coins about and that sort of thing. Eventually, I will uh, leave coins at the sites. Well, I should go and get my other lantern. You know, like I'll leave a few bucks sitting down here in a bucket so that whenever I need pipes or tubes or boxes or bales, I'll just come and grab them. Um, same thing, I can leave money up at the, the furniture one or the, you know. Yeah, there are other there's places there there's there's other towns and such around that sell different things and buy different things and all kinds of bits and bobs all right let's set you here there that kind of keeps our area a little bit lit <laughs> kind of like me by the afternoon <laughs> no i'm just kidding okay. don't him vibe all right Okay, and I cannot see the green door. There we are. I guess this doesn't really need to be that close to these things. There. All right. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Some goodies. And four. Nice. Bleep. All right, let's grab our scrubby and scrub it, scrub it. Well. <laughs> That's just a little bit disappointing. One little iron nugget. Boy. You're just not like the others, are you? <laughs> There's always one. Oh, we need some water. Oh. oh, don't do it. Oh, what are you doing, man? Hmm? It's just being weird. Oh, I can pick it up. Ha. There we go. Whew. I was worried. I thought we'd wasted that entire four shovel holes of dirt. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Not only do we get some gold, but we got one of these. This is a shard of something. I don't remember what. But uh, the thing with shards is they're kind of like a power source. But to help you pressurize your water systems because most gold mining requires a lot of water and this one's no different all right let's put our nugs over here yes 
Now, we are ways from doing that sort of thing because we need, you know, um, cauldrons and furnaces and lots of stuff. Well, okay, we need money is what we need. <laughs> and, yeah, that means we gotta, gotta do the grind, man. Gotta do the grind. Gotta pick up the shovel. Come on. I think I might have been digging too shallow that time. Cause that, uh, I mean, we did get a crystal, but I think that was only the last one because I kind of pointed to the deep part of the hole. Okay. I just don't want it to fall in the hole. Know what I'm saying? Okay. There we are. Learn to aim your bucket. Ah, jeez. I didn't think it was big enough for me to fall into. Apparently, I was wrong. All right, what did we get this time? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're on the gold. Okay, let's grab our nuggie of iron. You can go over here. What sort of a nugget are you? See, you... Yeah, there's something wrong with that one. It just doesn't like being near other things. All right, we'll grab you. Nice big chunk of shiny. Good. And we'll grab you. And righty. Ra -cha -cha -cha. Okay. Water. Yeah, I know. It looks like I'm digging in the bucket and then putting it back in the bucket. I'm not. <laughs> it is a little odd to get used to. But, I mean, it's... Again, there's so little in the way of controls that it's not a big deal to get used to it. You know what I mean? And in fact, so far at least, this is the only real divergence. You know, where you actually aim with the blue button where everything else, the green button controls it. Yeah. Okay. Now you do build the entire... Oh, good. Uh, yeah. Um, like an entire mining base, if you will. Um, including structures and automated machines. All of that sort of thing. And like I said, this is not... Well, there's this is... Not only are there other towns, but there are other dig sites as well. So, yeah. Wow. Now, that's a big chunk of iron. Compared to anything else we've found so far. Look at that. Wow. That is uh, considerably bigger. But, I don't think iron's worth much. So, not really what we need. Oh, it's already full, that's right. All I need to do is this. Oh. Well, that. Try and get some really deep stuff. We need the gold, man. Iron might be great for making stuff, but without gold, the one thing we won't be making is money. Oh, you're a dim bulb. Tell everybody how easy it is to figure out the control. Huh? Okay. Oh, <laughs> there's already dirt in it. <laughs> it might have come out of the bucket, but guess what? It ain't going back in. No, sir. All right, what do we got? Mm, again, not super duper impressive. No, sir. Yeah. 
Now the iron I figure we'll save till we've actually got a, an anvil and such. This is going to be a good one. Look at that. Nothing. <laughs> now, I wonder if that's... Uh, oops. I think I was standing on that. Apparently, you want to be careful of that. Yes, if you stand on something and pick it up, it can cause, apparently, some kind of havoc. Now, granted, the, uh, the developer has been doing lots... Uh, patching and fixing and working and going so hopefully those sort of things and there are a few of them um, especially once we get into a little bit more of the automated end of things um, where people are running into uh, well shall we say a little bit of issue here and there and yeah the developer does seem to be taking it in stride so always good all right whoops <laughs> little bit of glitch going on there. No, oh, I scrubbed a chunk of gold right out of the bucket. That's odd. But, yeah, it's weird little physics things like that that can be a bit uh, disconcerting. Okay, I'm thinking it's maybe time to go see if we can't make a little money. Yeah, looks like we got them all. I suppose we could turn our lanterns off, but as far as I know, they don't use any sort of a resource. So, you know. All right, off to the jeweler as we go. And we will hopefully... Hopefully. 60 again? Is that like a fixed amount or what? There we go. Come on. All right, that might have it. Good. Jeez. All right. I wonder if the larger baskets will carry this. Because that's not really going to work. <laughs> if that pile gets any wider, it's simply not going to go in the bucket, is it? Alright, now, what do we want? Well, we want a crucible and a small furnace, I think, to start. Uh, what do we 
have? A dollar fifteen, a dollar four. Darn. How much are these? Forty-two. Forty-two. Wow. All right. Well, and an anvil is how much? Eighty-six. Ew. All right. I don't even have enough for that. Okay. Well. Yeah, we've got 11 cents left. So, I think what I'm actually going to do is leave it in there. Yeah, see how that goes. See how that goes. There you go. Do -do 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 -do. No, it doesn't appear to be a sprint, at least not the normal key, so that's okay. We're not going very far. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Ah, I see. And where are you going to let me put it? Here? All right. So, yeah, oddly enough, you don't drop that one. If you click your left mouse button, it turns red and allows you to find a place to place it. So, well, I can melt our stuff now. Problem is, until we make more money, that's all I can do. So, we need to make enough money to buy a casting mold and a couple of things like that. So, but I think that's going to do it for our first look. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, of course. Oh, here's our map. Let's have a quick look at it before we depart. Not that you can see a lot. But yeah, the four areas, well, you can see dig sites, right? So there's four different dig sites. And then there is one, two, three, four, oh, half a dozen different uh, places you can go to buy and sell things. So actually seven. <laughs> now, all right, it actually, ooh, I think we've got like an aluminum map or something. Sorry, aluminium. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to do it. Make sure you hit that like button on your way out if you liked the episode. If you want to see more, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the little bell icon. Can I climb this? I can't climb it. I hope I'm not stuck. I'm not. All right. With that, take care of each other, folks. Stay the heck away from each other. Till next time. Ciao for now.